Jai Shri Mataji everyone. A very good morning to all. Let's collectively bow down, raise up a kundalini and put on a bandha. Let's start by saying Shri Ganesha Mantra. Om Tvameva Saksha Shri Ganesha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Mother, please allow us to meditate and rise higher in our spiritual ascent. Please establish our attention in the present. And please give us balance. Let's let's put our right hand on Mother Earth and left hand towards Shimataji. Today we'll do the Muladhara meditation. Put your attention on your left Muladhara and take one mantra to Sri Nirmal Ganesh. Om Tvameva Saksha Shri Nirmal Ganesha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Say in your heart, Mother, by your grace, I am innocent. Shrimataji, by your grace, I am innocent. Say this from your heart.
Um, slowly move your right hand back into your lap. Put your attention on the center muladhar chakra. And here we will take one mantra to Sri Ganesh Gauri. Om Dhwami Vasaksha Shri Ganesh Gauri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Pray to Mother Shmataji, please make me innocent. Shmataji, please make me innocent. Let's meditate here for a few minutes. Now, put your right hand towards Shimataji and left hand on Mother Earth. Put your attention on your right Muladhar Chakra. And we'll say one mantra to Shri Kartikeya. Om Dvami Visaksha Shri Kartikeya Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Say in your heart, Shmataji, please make me worthy of you. Shmataji, please make me worthy of you.
we'll say one mantra to Rakshas and Tri, no Shri. Om Tvami Visakshat Raksha Santri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha And now say loudly in your head, Mother, you are the destroyer of all the evil in me. Mother, you are the destroyer of all the evil in me. Say loudly in your head. Let's meditate like this for a few minutes. Slowly bring your, bring your left hand back into your lap and continue to enjoy this state of meditation. Let's take the mantra of Sri Ganesh Gauri one more time. Om Tvami Visakshat Sri Ganesh Gauri Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha A 
hands, fold our hands, bow down our head slightly in front of Shri Mataji and Mother Kundalini and Shri Ganesha. Thank you, Mother, for everything. We will now listen to a talk given by Shri Mataji in 1985 in Melbourne, Australia. The title of the talk is Women are there to give joy and happiness and emotional security to the whole society. Secondly, I have to tell you that the women in the West have changed their styles, which is very, very dangerous for their society, because they have also taken to the egoistical ways of men. So if men have gone, say, 10 feet, they have run after them again about, say, 8 feet, and pulled back men even to go further than. Now, this is completely crossing your egos because women do not have such possibility of egos normally. So, competing men in ego, what you did, you have lost your complete maryadas of a woman. There is no maryada of a woman. Man has a maryada of a man. If a man starts behaving like a woman, he is not a man. In the same way, the women, if they start behaving like men, then there are no more women. They have lost their maryadas, they are out, so they get possessed. And that's why women, when they are egoistical, they become horrid. Their faces become horrid, they look horrid, their whole behavior is horrid. They can become dry like bean sticks, you see, and could be so hard as to hit you like an iron rod. But they say the lady with the iron rod in her hand. All this happens because we have a maryada. We are the style as we are. If it's a rose, it's a rose. Be happy that you are a flower of rose. Now the rose wants to become the thorn. So we lose all our maryadas. Today, today I will be speaking to you before we start this here, when the people are coming before that, to the ladies and tell them, what's gone wrong with them. And that is how you must know that the plight of the West is not by men but by women. Women have ruined the society of West, Western society. It's the Indian women who have kept the society intact, all my really thanks to their so solid behavior towards life. It is the women of this country who have ruined all that was so delicate, emotional, beautiful, love, affection, compassion. Women are there to give joy and happiness and emotional security to the whole society. While they take over, do this, keep that, do that. Even the husbands have become just like servants in the house. You haven't done the cleaning properly. You haven't cleaned the uh, kitchen properly. I went to England. I was surprised all kitchen uh, cleaning and all that is so well done in England. You see, you have everything for cleaning this, cleaning that. I said, why it has happened? It's the men, you see, they had to do it, so they found out all the ways and methods. <laughs> has to be sparkling, all right. Sparkling you want, I'll get you such a thing that if you put it in your hand, your hand will burn. All the acid is put everywhere. With a big glove in the hand, put it everywhere. <laughs> and everything gets up. Then the children, you see, suffer. Because that's the job of a gardener. Beautiful things that are born, to be looked after with that kindness. But you overindulge into your children in the beginning. A mother is like a gardener. She has to prune also. She has to cut also. So the growth is all right. If your child is spoiled, you are no good. A mother useless here.
but you groom your husband, not your children. Just the other way now, because ego is towards your husband all the time grooming. Sit here, go there, what is money, business, give me all the money, I keep all the money, everything. Now one may say that the law is such. If the law is stupid, the Sahaja Yoginis should not take to such a law. That law has ruined you all, I tell you, because this is such an important part of life. It is such an important area of life that it should not have suffered. Where affection, love, kindness, all that is required is missing, then you become people without any meaning. Life is aimless. You don't know what to do. That's why the children commit suicide. And then the love should be such that it should be proved. For that you must have wisdom, which also one does not develop because if you run after your Muladhara chakra, how can you have wisdom? Here men have befooled you completely. Completely they have befooled you. Take it from. You must keep your wisdom intact. And not only that they have befooled you, but they themselves have stooped down to befool you. So they have their devious methods, they are not straightforward. So as Sahaja Yogis, we are above all these things. We have reached a state where we are above. We are here for correcting all those things that have gone wrong in the society, because Sahaja Yoga faces towards the society, not towards yourself only. So at this stage we have to understand what we have to do is, first of all, our own understanding should be such. Even now, with all this movement of Sahaja Yoga understanding, women don't realize that they have to be like women. I have seen them. They still, what's wrong? Still go on. And men don't understand that they have to be like men, even after so many. And if they become really like men, women will appreciate them. And if you become really like women, men will appreciate you. You see, it's the opposites that attracts each other. That should be normal. But we live in abnormal way that the men are women and women are men. What do you do now? So it is very important for men to understand now, because I'm going to talk to women later on, <laughs> that they should become like men. They must fix up things. They must take decisions. They must be the one who must do. But that's outward. Actually, it's the source is the woman. The woman is the potential and man is the kinetic. For example, there is a fan moving. Movement of the fan is the kinetic force, we can say. But the potential force that is within us is the one which is the electricity which is coming from the source, which is higher. The fan that moves or the source. Let the women decide and men understand. But if that source dries out and wants to become the fan, no fan will work. Upside down situation. If you realize you are the source, you are the one who is going to give all the shakti to men, you will stop behaving like men. It doesn't mean that you cannot go to work, you cannot do, but take to work which is more suitable to women. Like I would not like a woman to have a bus driver's job or a truck driver, or wrestler. <laughs> no, I'm not telling, I'm telling from experience. <laughs> Once I was traveling, I was a student at that time in Lahore, you see, and I was tra traveling by train. And at some station, you see, the train stopped in the night, and uh, a lady came. And she said, open the door for me. So I said, well, it's so crowded, all right, I'll try, I'll try. And she said, if you don't open, I can break it. I said, how can you? She said, you don't know who I am? I said, who? I said, she said, I'm Hamida Bano. I said, who's Hamida Bano? The wrestler lady. Oh, Baba. I said, thank God. I'll open it. 
I said, if you are a wrestler lady, why are you coming in the ladies' department? Why don't you go to the men's? <laughs> and she pushed the door so violently she came up. I looked at her, you know, I said, wow, what a person. <laughs> And she sat down, you see, with the whole, uh, whole, whole her uh, countenance and everything, her own, uh, uh, gait and state of sitting, everything was so manly like that. She sat down and said, now come along now, those who want to say, I should not sit here. I said, nobody wants that. Now, madam, you sit comfortably. <laughs> but we'll have to get somebody from the other compartment to have wrestling. And then she was quiet. And she was really, I saw her. All her muscles so overdeveloped, and she was really looking like I would say a Western cow, we can say. <laughs> like the cows here look like buffaloes, not like cows. Something very funny, I cannot forget that. You see, that experience, I was very young and I was really. <laughs> And I didn't know, I felt like laughing, but I couldn't even laugh. I thought she'll box my. <laughs> so, this is what it is that we are ending up there. Must know that. How far are we going? Are we going to become wrestlers? So, this is what it is. Uh, one has to learn that it has been there for ages. Ages it has been there. I have seen. Uh, I've read books, some books, old books, I've seen some films also, where they have shown, even in olden times, the women used to have room in their hands, sitting their husbands, sort of thing. We do have some of them blessed in India, but there are very, very few, very few women there. Not a big number. But it may increase, God knows. See? So keep your fingers crossed. But I would say that this is what is happening. So with too much ego of man, which is goes into left to Shiddhi, they say not, let the women take over. It's all right, let them be satisfied, no more of their aggression. Let them have their own. So they do what they like, men are not bothered, and they go into their left, this thing. There's no enjoyment of marriage or love. So now we have, yesterday the other marriage, I, for the benefit of your children, for the goodness of them, all that, take your roles as women and men. Your rules are as women and men, and you'll see you'll enjoy it. The quarrel should be on that rule. The man wants to do something for you, should say, no, 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 how can we do That's too much for me. Let me do this work. As I have told you many a times how uh, my husband, when he gets angry, he wants to wash his undershirt, you see, to show his <laughs> anger. Or when he's very angry, then he will clean the bathroom. <laughs> But he does it so badly <laughs> that I know that it is he has done. I feel like laughing, but I dare not because I must keep his spirit on. And then he starts talking in, uh, in, a, in a very, you see, respectable way to everyone. Thou, he calls everyone thou, you see, thou. He says, thou are like that, thou are like that. So I know now he's really angry for something. But he won't say what, what is he angry with. See, then we have to find out what is he angry with, and if so, don't feel guilty, correct. Now you must find out what are the weak points of your husband, first of all, and of your wife. On what points she get upset. Now the attitude should be we should not upset her, we should not make her angry, and the another attitude of the wife the same way, much more for the husband. So now what are the soft points on which he really gets upset. Just study. It's very simple. I laugh at it. Don't take it seriously, but be careful to avoid that. Now also find out what makes him happy. Like if I'm really sometimes, I never get angry as you know that, I never get angry. But if I am showing off my anger, just let it be. Let it be. It's all right. Sit down. You understand, Sergio? All right. So, now how to show that, how to uh, neutralize an anger of a person? Say now, supposing I am trying to show, if you put a child in my lap, finished, anger is gone. 
I cannot show anger with a child on my lap. It's simple. So you must find out. Like my husband, you see, if he is angry, supposing I know him, then if I tell him that, uh, what about uh, getting me a nice sari? Oh, finished. Then he is very happy. <laughs> he says, oh, I have done him the greatest favor. See, like that. You see, you must find out what thing pleases your husband, what thing pleases your wife, and neutralize. And you see, little things like that you must learn. This is the art of living. This is the art of living a Sahaja Yogi life. The art of living is how with little few things, you see, how manage. Now you must have seen how in my lecture I say quite serious things, but in your bubbles of laughter it just settles down in your mind. That's how you should do it. Because humor is one of the greatest thing that puts the thing through, makes the person understand, and it doesn't harm anyone. That's how things improve. And when you see that you are settled down in peace, that's the first thing a husband wife must do, is to settle down in peace. Children feel all right. Everyone feels all right. And then gradually let it correct. You have no responsibility of correcting each other. Remember that this is meant for you when you are not Sahaja Yogis. Today it is not meant for you. So you won't feel guilty. <laughs> First, remember, you are Sahaja Yogis, you are my children, and I love you very much, very, very much. So please have confidence in yourself, complete confidence in yourself, all right? That's the greatest thing you can give me today as a present. May God bless you. While in this state of meditation, let's just give a pandan to the 21 days meditation program hosted by North America, which is starting this weekend. Let's say the three great mantras together. 
Let's collectively bow down on Mother's holy lotus feet. Let's raise our Kundalini and put on a bandha.
जय श्री माता जी थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एस टूडे होप यू ऑल हैव अ लवली एंड निर्मल डे अहेड जय श्री माता जी